is the bad boy from Bath. It's Gazao. Well, we don't need Vegas when we got this, right? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Penn and Mr. Teller. How are you? What I'm going to do is my rendition of the oldest trick in the world. Here it is, the classic cups and balls. Ball number one. Disappeared. Ball number two. It's going to disappear the same... Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't very strong misdirection. I thought, if I look back, you look back. But you saw me do that, so... <laughs> This is a tough one with everybody watching. There are three balls being manipulated throughout and two of them have vanished. The third one, I will blow on it, it will vanish right before your very eyes. <laughs> I bet you're wondering where the balls are. Your name, sir. Stand up, please. Put your hand in your hip pocket, your jean pocket, right hand, take out the balls. Are they in there? Uh, no. Of course they're not, you silly Wally. Sit down. <laughs> Watch the dance of the little balls. Ball one goes here, or three goes there. Two goes here, or one goes here. Darren, right? Is it Darren? Did I hear it right? Point to a cup, Darren. Your choice. They're all the same, especially this one over there. That's a nice one. Which one do you want, Darren? Uh, this one. Which one, Darren? It's A, B, C. Pick A cup, Darren. A. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he thinks I influenced his choice by going pick A cup. No, I didn't influence your choice, did I? No. You could have had any cup, but I take the ball from here like this. Do you see it go? Not drunk. <laughs> take it from here, you see. Two on the bottom, one on top. That's my favourite position. <laughs> Is this the way it's going to be? <laughs> There's too many balls to begin with, so what I'm going to do is eliminate a few to make the game a little bit easier to follow. We have one ball there, one ball there. Darren, would you mind standing for me, please? Don't be embarrassed about your shirt. <laughs> OK. Darren, how many balls are being used throughout? Three. Three, yeah. OK, so how many balls are underneath the middle cup? One. One, OK. So if I eliminate this one from the game, how many balls will it leave left in the game? Two. Correct. But if I eliminate this one from the game, how many balls will it left in the game? One. And where is it? In the middle. In the middle. There you are. I put this one away. But how come, Darren, this one's back so quick? Well, I'll tell you, Darren, because what I do is slide a hand. I don't take the ball and put it here. I just manipulate it in such a way that you think it's going away. But I keep it palmed, yeah? Okay. There's no ball here. But when I lift up the cup, what happens? I drop the ball from the back of the cup, create the illusion that it come from the cup, you stupid audience. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> Darren, now you see the ball going in. Tap the cup three times, yeah? This one's back, which leaves how many balls there, Darren? Uh, one. If you can't, not sure, take a guess, Darren. One. <laughs> Two. Three. <laughs> three balls going at the same time, Darren. Ready? At the yep. same time. How many here, Darren? None. You sure? Orange. Uh, I'll take the trick one step further. Ready, Darren? I think so. Darren, this is an hat, a hat, right? Ordinary hat. I cover up the ball, and the ball is going to vanish. How many balls under the hat, Darren? One. Right. Ready? Watch it disappear. It's vanished. How many balls under the hat, Darren? 
Um, one? No, it vanished, remember? Oh, another. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's my fault I picked you. <laughs> How many balls, Darren? None. None? You don't believe it, though, do you? Not I'll true. bring it back, then. <laughs> Ready, Darren? Yep. How many balls? One. Yeah? How many now? None. What? <laughs> How many? None. Three. <laughs> you see, you thought I took the balls out, but I told you to watch the oldest trick in the world. Remember that. seen people do what they call, I believe, <laughs> the cup and balls. Is that what they call it? Cups, cups and balls, and, Cups yeah. and balls. And most of us have seen it. We've seen people do it at parties, at kids' parties, that kind of thing, or sometimes swingers' parties. But <laughs> that was just about, I think, the best I've ever seen. Would you not agree, ladies and gentlemen? Wasn't that just out of this world? Awesome. Thank you very much. Karen Teller, do you want to start talking, or do you, do you, do you, do you want to start with me now? Could we... Could we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for letting us be on your show? Oh. <laughs> it's just it's <laughs> the greatest. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Literally, literally the oldest trick in magic done perfectly. That's what you just saw there. Perfect. Very important to remember in all art and all performance, it is the singer not the song, and you're the best singer we've ever seen, man. Thank you wow. very Just much. Just the greatest, the really? greatest. Thank you. The best they've ever seen. Thank you. By the absolute rules of this show, you did not fool us because we do the trick, yes, but you course. did it better than us. What more can we ask for? Wow. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you didn't fool them. He's not going to buy us, but Gaza, you blew us all away. It's Gaza, ladies and gentlemen. He had me at the orange, but it was the melon, really, when I fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's time for our fast break. We'll make sure you come back, as we've got plenty more foolers ready to take on Mr. Penn and Mr. Teller, and good luck to all of them. Don't go away. Yeah.